Hit the halls with sprues from hobbies. Fall off. What? Oh, hi guys. Uh, I didn't see you there. Uh, y'all don't scare an old man like that. I, you love to cause me to have a coronary. I'm gonna have to put a. I'm gonna have to put a cowbells around y'all's necks or something next time. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna do another video here. I got something special I wanna share with you. I got something yesterday that I was very excited about. I got my very first Christmas card. This come from Frank Frizzo and family. Got a pretty shiny thing. Yeah, here we go. Jack and family, may your blessings be many, may your joy be great from Frizzo's bench to yours. Frank and family. Thank you, Frank, so much. I, I, you know what? That that just made my day. I was excited. I was running around here. I said, and not only that, but I got my very first shop card kit. I got the little Frank Frizzo's model car sticker. Oh, and I figured out a special place I'm going to start putting my shop stickers, guys. Frizzo's model cars. Look at them builds. Look at that GTO there. Man, 32 bodies starting there. And on the back here, he's talking about, uh, you know, uh, what's been going on with him and what he's planning on doing in the near future. And uh, let's see. And I think this one was probably, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, Frank, but it looks like it might have been uh, his very first uh, shop card. Jack, welcome to this great community of amazing builders. Thank you for your support of my channel as I will support yours, Frank. Yeah, thank you so much, Frank. And uh, I'm going to show you guys. Oh, man, I meant to put everything back in the box, but too late now. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this sticker. Stuff in the box or not. Man, earlier I had to clean this thing up, guys. It's been sitting in the floor for about 18 years. And ain't been cleaned since I put it in there. I set it down there and filled it up. But here's my supply box. I'm going to have to back up a little bit. And play with the camera. See, so I can see what I'm talking about. But uh, it's just basically a plastic utility box. There's a little magnetic tray and and a place where like you can set a little magnetic dish or so, something, and uh, there it opens up like this. And uh, hang on, I do have a tray I can put back in it. Tray's right here, guys. But this, I keep all my painting supplies in. Let me play with this zoom a little bit. See, here's my glue, my paint pens, and there's some graphite and some putty and a magnetic finger. Check this out. Mrs. Jack in the Box got me. His, this is one of my Christmas presents. Hang on a second. My camera's falling. I'm going to show you how this works. Watch this. See, slide the, that little orange thing there is a magnet. And you slide it over your finger. And it's pretty strong. Let's see what I can pick up here. Look at there. Picked up a screwdriver. Watch this. There's a screw tip. Pretty neat, huh? I don't know where she got it at. She found it online. I don't think that was real expensive. That'd be handy, especially working on a car. You know, you got this spot where you just can't, can't quite get your hand in there to start a nut on a bolt or something. Just stick it on that and stick it up in there and twist your hand and get a bite on it. And you're good to go. Or if you drop something on one of them hard to, to reach places, you can use that to pick it up. 
Of course, I got my little swabs here, and there's some yellow plug wires, pin stripe and tape. I got all kind of duties, but I, uh, and of course, like everything else, it's unorganized. Here's uh, some paint brushes and stuff, and I've got paints that I keep in the bottom of this, but I ain't put them back in yet since I washed it. But, uh, let me close this thing and latch it, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I think what I'm going to do here, oh man, I got to adjust the camera and everything. Hang on guys, I'm going to take you for a ride. Take you for a ride. Hope nobody gets seasick. Now what was I gonna do? Oh here it is. I'm gonna take this here sticker. And I'm gonna start lining them up, fellas. Sticking them on my supply box. That's what I call it, my supply box. See that? So every time I get a sticker, I'm going to put it on my supply box. When I get slowed down juggling these builds I got going, I'm going to clear some of this stuff off the table and I'm going to set it up here. So every time I come on camera, you're going to see my stickers. I'm thinking about taking some kind of big poster board or big piece of cardboard and I'm going to start taping my shop cards on it. I'm going to show off my shop cards too. Now... Enough of that foolishness. Let's get on with some nonsense. Uh, the most important thing I wanted to show was uh, Frank's Christmas card and shop cards. I mean, man, that was my first one too, guys. My first shop cards and Christmas card. I, I wasn't prepared for the Christmas cards this year. Like every Christmas, I'm not really prepared for anything. But uh, next year, I'm going to have you guys some Christmas cards. I may start shipping them out close to the end of November, so they'll be on time. Uh, had to get me a drink of coffee. But now, uh, what little bit of bench time I've been, been able to have, I still ain't crazy about where this camera's sitting. Hang on. There we go. That's a little more like it anyway. Well, a little bit bench time I have had. I've started to... I got my engine block together for my SWAT car. Started painting it a little bit. I started out with the red and... I was really, I'm still kind of a little bit undecided what to do about this brace that goes across the front of the engine that holds it in the body of the car. I was like, do I paint it black or do I paint it red? It's not really a part of the engine, but it is. So for now it's red. Well, and I noticed the uh, air cleaner here at the top, it had a little indenture in it, almost like it had a part that went down, it snapped down in it or something, but I looked in the instructions, nothing goes in it. So before I paint it, I filled it up with the uh, tester's glue, and uh, I'm going to sand that thing down before I paint it. And got that much of that done. Oh, I had big visions of doing all the silver parts and bare metal foil. And I was going to start out with these little rims right here. Let me get my light back over here. I was going to start out with these little rims. I'm going to bare metal foil them, right? Well, I cut out a piece of bare metal foil about, ooh, about that much bigger than the rim. And I thought, well, I could lay it down here flat and just kind of press it in with my Q-tip, work it around, work And that would have worked out fine, except that little center cap piece right there, it tore right there, it started going down okay in the middle around it and on the outer edge. And I was like, you know what? 
as tiny as this thing is let me go on and paint these wheels silver and if I do anything else besides trim with bare metal foil it's I'm still going to attempt the uh, the bumper and and you know grill and headlight and assembly on the front of it I'm still going to attempt to do the bumper and bare metal foil and the uh, emergency light base so we'll I'll keep you posted on that but I kind of struck out with the uh, with the rims uh, I was trying to think of something that's all I've got done on that car I was trying to think of something else uh, oh I know check this out I didn't show you guys all the parts that goes with my Camaro and there again I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to adjust this camera fellas hang on thought I had this stuff down by now but you gotta have to look over me I just got up from a, a chilly nap I ate a couple of bowls of Mrs. Jack in the Box chili and it knocked me out and I feel all ref refreshed and crazy alright that's the zoom 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 but here is some more parts look still in the bag fellas from 1980 whatever uh, get to open them and show you live live in color uh, let's see what we got here what we got here it looks like something that goes on the, like the heater motor or something that goes on the firewall we got a uh, what you call it? Oh, it's a, it's a side mirror. You actually put the lenses in the side mirror, and it's about ready to fall off. I don't know what this is here. It looks like a can opener. Uh, I believe it goes under the hood somewhere. Uh, let's see. Ooh, there's the the front clip, if you will. Hang on, Lucy Lou. I got people looking at me. Now here's uh, one of the hood hinges. Lucy Lou says hi, y'all. She's daddy's girl. She is like my shadow. She goes everywhere daddy goes. You want to show him some Lucy Lou, Lucy Lou? Lou, Lucy Lou, Lucy Lou. <laughs> That's my baby. That's daddy's baby girl. Here's the hood, guys. Check that out. Thinking about, uh, I got some gray felt over there. It's just screaming to get on underneath this hood. I think that'd be bad. Because it is going to be painted black. I'm going to keep it black. Because that's how my buddy had it. He didn't paint his. But I like painting my cars. They just, you know, they're just something about paint. Plus, it hides all these little scratches and stuff that gets on it, you know, in the moving it around and all yes Lucy I know you there baby but I got a lot to show these people in just a little bit uh, let's see what we got here looks like we got some we got some glass y'all and this plastic so old it's just it's just weak it's like 100 year old saran wrap all right what we got here we got headlight lenses we got this looks like a fog light lens we got the little uh, side lights on the fenders can't think of what it's called tail light lenses look they smoked and tinted and everything smoked and tinted windshield that's gonna be bad don't y'all think it's gonna be bad and here's a little place where, where the mirror sticks on i think my camera's running faster and faster here's a here's the back glass and it's got the little lines in it i don't know if that's a defroster i reckon that's the defroster lines hooks up to the heater defrost your windows here's a Another tail light cover. 
And it looks like either a couple of like them fog light covers, lenses. Okay, I'm gonna lay this plastic aside. Wait, what's this? There's something else in here. There's something else in here, y'all. There's another uh, hood hinge and another door mirror. Okay, now we got seats. Seats are in red, big seats. These seats are so big, you know what? You could set a 12 inch GI Joe in these things. Look at this. There's a monster seat, man. How big my hand is, look how big that seat is. Two back seats and two seat covers. Man, now check this out. Oh, look. There's a one of the headlights. And uh, here is back up again interior tub now I think the only thing I'm gonna paint in here I may do minimal bare metal foiling on the door panels uh, I want to get one of those tea strainers and either some flocking or some of that uh, fingernail flock or whatever they call it and do it in red to match the interior on all the carpet areas right here and then back under the back glass and uh, I think that'd be cool but yeah that's a that's a tub you can put near take a bath in that huh okay that's all of that and um, let's see yeah Mrs. Jack in the Box said Jack, you don't need to make your videos very lengthy or people won't, won't watch them all the way through. I said, well, I bet, uh, I bet people in my community will watch it all the way through. So I got friends in this community, you know what I'm saying? Okay, how about a story? People like my stories. Time to adjust the camera, fellas. Bear with me. Okay, this is going to be uh, one of my new segments. You've seen what I'm working on, what I'm going to be working on. Now it's time to pull something from the old dusty shelf. I know you've seen this in my thumbnail. It's a 120th scale Corvette. Man, I'm going to have to back this camera up again. Raise it up or something. Okay. That light's just slamming on the lid of that thing. Uh, let me see if I can find a date on here, guys. Let me see if I can find a date. Uh, fun Dimensions. It says right there. Uh, 1981 Fun Dimensions Division. Okay. So this is from 1981. Fully customized Corvette. I don't know if it's the 81 model or not, but that's what's on the box. Big 120 scale. Here's some pictures of what it looks like on the sides. It's got them custom fender flares front and back, custom wheels, custom pipes, custom driver. Okay, let's see. Uh, look at that engine, huh? I had a taste for a Corvette. Here's the story, guys. I had a taste for a Corvette. I was looking on eBay and come across this seller that had several different kits for sale and they were all Corvettes. Well, I won this one. I don't remember what I paid for it, but I do everything on the cheap, so it had to have been a good deal. And, uh, 
uh, got it home and uh, checked it out. It was complete. Uh, it didn't have, it wasn't sealed, but it was complete in the box. And uh, so when I left my feedback for the eBay seller, I said, if you don't mind me asking, um, I noticed you had several kits for sale and they were all Corvettes. You know, I mean, I'm curious, why is that? Well, it was a lady that sold it to me and she wrote me back and she said, all of these cars belong to my husband. And um, he passed away. And I, I've had him here for a few months and, uh, you know, I, I had no desire to keep them. And uh, a friend of mine told me I needed to sell them. Let me back up on this story. It wasn't the lady that owned them that sold them to me. It was a friend of hers. Okay, so the lady got this friend of hers to sell her husband's cars on eBay. That's what she told me. She said, I'm selling this for a friend of mine whose husband passed away and he owned all of these cars and they were all Corvettes. So, when I got done building this car, I took pictures of it and went back and sent them to this lady and I said, uh, I said, ma'am, tell your friend that this one particular model right here is very cherished uh, by the person that bought it. And I said, I'm sure your husband would appreciate his cars finally getting built. And she agreed that I'm sure he would appreciate his cars being built by someone that could do a decent job on them. And I will tell her. So that's the story on the Sabre Vet. Now, let's get in this box. Look at Lucy, we got Corvettes coming. We ain't got time for no foolish. We're about to do some silliness. Uh... Okay, so here's my version of the Sabre Vet. Lucy, they ain't never seen nothing that I've completed. I'll zoom in a little bit. It's a metallic blue metal flake finish with a uh, light gray interior. I'm going to have to play with this camera while y'all are looking. Look at that, 120th scale, Sabre Vet. Look at that. I painted the uh, engine block, the GM or Chevrolet orange, whatever you want to call it, and it's orange. Got a row bar in the back, a black row bar. And uh, I'm one of these people, I put my decals on and then I clear coat over them. And the reason why is I feel like it adds a layer of protection. You know, uh, that's just me. Okay, let's see if we can get some close up here. I'm going to try to do this. Now, just to be different, and y'all are going to learn that I like doing things different than everybody else. Instead of white lettering these tires... I put blue on them. I blue lettered them. And oh, I wish I could zoom in better. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I painted blue in between the fans on these wheels. And yes, the front end does move. I hope this comes out. Painted them blue. And there's the exhaust. Now you can see the blue good on this one. Now this one, it it came with some blue showing through on the wheels and but you really couldn't see it real real good so i i brought it on out some with the paintbrush so you could see it better okay and here's the uh here's the interior lucy baby please be still oh i got two-tone gray in there there's a a darker gray in the seat i forgot about that oh and there's a crash helmet over there in the passenger seat. I wish I had a flashlight like Brother Glenn does. I'll, I could show you that a little bit better. Maybe you can see it better from the other side. There's the roll bar. You can see it through the back glass. 
paint job turned out pretty decent on it, you know. Wasn't my best, but then I hand painted with a brush, Corvette, silver. Did a little backup lights here. The little flags on the, the gas tank. I want to get out of focus too much. And then there's the uh, license plate. And come around. Blue wheels. Blue, blue, blue. My spoiler, my fender flares, and my racing stripes. This is Corvette right there. And my little flag emblem right here. All right, now let's see. Let's see what the bottom looks like. Let's see what Jack in the Box does on the bottom. Let's see. I got a red. Uh, What's them called it right there? I got some yellow uh, shots. Oh, that's a spare tire or a gas tank. This is gas tank. Um, drive shaft. That's what it's called. Drive shaft. Told you guys my brain kind of cuts out every once in a while. And man, look at them pipes, dude. Huh? Almost looks like that spider thing on the front of Spider Man's. Uh, jumpsuit. There's the front end working back and forth. 